Hi, I'm Carl Hose from Lincoln Electric, and we're at the 2012 Fabtech Show. And I'm going to be working on some uh, race car seats. Uh, we got these from the LaJoy Seat Company in North Carolina, and this is a dirt track seat. We're going to be doing a little bit of welding on some 30-03 aluminum and some 6061 heat treatable aluminum. A couple little tricks here. It's kind of important to clean the aluminum good. Always clean the aluminum before you weld on it. Wipe it down with an acetone or a non-chlorinated brake cleaner. Or uh, we used a little bit of a Walter cleaner on this to wipe it down before we started. And uh, want to make sure we weld it up in the right places. We got some butt welds here and here on the 6061 aluminum. And when we weld 6061 aluminum, the welds are never as strong as uh, the heat treated aluminum was beforehand. So what we want to do is add a little extra weld on each side of these to strengthen that up. Always make sure to fill the craters at the end so you don't get a crater crack. And uh, weld them up. Well, I'm weld with a 40-43 filler metal here. And probably running about, oh, probably up around 150 amps or so. We're using a new uh, tungsten here, a little bit different. It's called an E3 tungsten. Radner makes that. And it's uh, got some zirconium in it. It's got some lamp lanthanum in it. And it's got a little yttrium in it, whatever that is. And it works pretty good on aluminum, I think. I think young Krim that works at LaJoy Seed Company is not going to lose his job to me. Let him do these things. So he welds one up in three and a half hours. I've been working on this one for two days. I've had a lot of questions about the strength of the aluminum after, after you weld on it. Uh, this this uh, non-heat treatable alloy here, this uh, 30-03, it goes back to O temper in the heat affected zone. So the, the area next to the weld is the weak link here. Uh, the 6061 is going to lose about 30% of its T6 properties. But uh, they engineer around that. You got a lot of weld on here, it's not, it's not going to come apart. If you'd like more information on uh, aluminum welding, go to lincolnelectric.com.